Keep being the amazing butt kicker that you are. Welcome to today's beginner hit workout. Today's indoor cycling workout is designed to help you lose fat. And you can do that whether you are on a spin bike, if you are on a stationary bike, or maybe you're on a bike with a trainer, any type of bike, you can modify this workout to make it work for you. And if you are new, my name is Kaylee and I like to help you bring out your inner butt kicker. And in the next 20 minutes, we are going to do just that. If this is your first time joining us, make sure to check this video out right here. That will explain to you how I call out resistance for these workouts. And if you are ready to kick butt and reach goals, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and start your watch. We are gonna get this workout started. And if you do have a computer with RPMs, I will be calling those out. And if you do not, that is totally fine. You can touch the beat or follow my leg speed or ride wherever you need to. But right now you are at your level five and you're just feeling a little bit of resistance. We always wanna make sure we have some resistance under these pedals. But form, head is up, shoulders down away from your ears. Core is engaged, you have a light grip on your handlebars, slight bend in your elbow. Feet are flat, and we're gonna pick it up here in about five seconds, right here. Pick it up just a little bit, five RPMs if you can. Working on warming up here. 15 seconds is all we've got. Slow it back. Back, mid 70s. One, two, one, two. And the purpose of a HIT workout is when we have those working portions, when we have those high intensity sections, we max it out. We push for all it's worth and then we get to bring it down and recover before we go again. So that is how this workout is planned. We're gonna have some sprints, some speed increases. We're gonna do it all. But we gotta pick it up again. Five, 10 RPMs this time. Here it is, pick it up. Just a little bit, still at that five. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Slow it back. Nice job. Heart rate is already coming up. Turn it up, one, five, six. We gotta pick it up right here. Last push for this warm up song. You're doing it. This one is 30 seconds long. Push. Almost there. Breathing heavy is already starting for me. Here we are. Four, three, two, one. Slow it down. Breathing. We've got a rolling hill. A rolling hill is where we climb the hill and then we work back down that hill with some speed. So we're gonna have our resistance higher as we climb and then we're gonna turn the resistance off and pick it up. I love rolling hills and they are tough. But right now breathing, taking a little bit of recovery. You're in the 60s. Turn that resistance up now. Turn it up to, to your eight. Right out of the gate. We're going. This is what hit is about. One, two, one, two. We're gonna take it down. Down two, find a six. Find a six. Pick it up, pick it up, and go. We are feeling warm now. 
still warming up a bit into this song. So our speed will probably increase as we go through this workout. Good, push and pull. Now we are gonna come up to second today, which is a standing position. And we're also gonna come out to a climbing position, which I call third. If you are on a bike that does not allow you to, or maybe you wanna just stay in the saddle, that is totally fine. If you need to do that, then you can increase your resistance a little bit while we climb in third, or increase your speed in second, but stay in the saddle. That's gonna be the added challenge if you want that. Find six, get ready, build it, and push. one, add one up to a seven. So this is that mid heel. You should feel mid heel. It's moderately heavy, but you can maintain it for a while. That is what seven feels like. We're going for sprints. So this is where we're recovering. And then those sprints, we are all out. And even if you can only push for 10 or 15 seconds, that is okay. The point is you have showed up today for this workout. You have showed up to make changes and you're gonna do it. And even if you do it slow, slower than you had hoped, that is okay. Do not get discouraged. Just be so grateful that you can be here. Cause we're gonna do it. So we're sprinting right now, 70s, 80s at that seven. Let's remember our form, head up, shoulders down. Turn it down to your five. Make sure you have enough resistance to protect your knees though. Your five, getting ready to sprint. Four, three, two, one, go. Amazing 
job. Take a second here and recover. Then we're gonna turn it up one because we are getting ready for jogs. We have two jogs. Jogging is in second position. No mercy for you. No but again, if you, you want to stay in the that saddle, do that. No you. This is your workout, and I, I want you to make dice. the most of it. Don't fall so if you stay in the saddle and nice. you want a hey, challenge, you to challenge, try to increase your speed a little bit. Hey, Turn it up to, to a seven. No yeah. Get ready I'm for really, second. Really Four, hey, three, two, to me, one. Up. Right here. Mid-70s. Light on your bars. Take it. Again, that RPM is a range for you, so you can be plus or minus there. Five, 10 RPM, good. Light on your bars. We're gonna have a seat in four, three, two, one. Yes, yeah, that was that working portion right there. So if you were jogging with me, high five. If you were picking up speed, high five. If you are on the bike, double high five. That's what counts. Breathing, we've got one more. We're going to do that again. About 10 seconds. Light on your bars. Keep that chest up, shoulders over hips, and we come up. Here it is. Four, three, two, one, up. Light on your bars. I like to think of high knees when I'm in second. Take it. And after cycling for 15 years, jogging is still super tough for me. But it does get easier, I promise. Take it. Four, three, we're gonna have a seat. Two, if you won't give it one. To me, I'm yeah. take it. You're doing it, you are doing it. And we have two songs left. I know, I cannot believe it. But we're going heavy. So we're gonna work high intensity heavy right now. Turn it up to your eight. We're gonna visit nine. We've got Team Climb and this is Team Climb right here. This is for those who love the heavy, love to climb. And again, if you are staying in the saddle, seated climbs are seriously no joke. So if you can add a little bit of resistance when we come out, Challenge yourself that way. One, two, one, two. Get ready, up. Right here. This is third position. We are in the 60s. You know you have too much resistance on if you are not keeping a smooth pedal throw. Then you need to take a little bit of resistance off or slow down your speed a little bit, but not too much, because that's when it starts to be a little jerky. One, two, one, two. Hold it here. Five more seconds, we're gonna take it back in the saddle, and then we're gonna find nine. Four, three, two, one, down. Hold the eight a little bit longer, recover in here. Good. Push it. How you doing? You have almost made it. You have almost made it. We're gonna find nine. Four, three, two, one, turn it up. Nine. Oh my, that is almost the top of your hill. This is where that heart rate is going to. Whew. This is that high intensity, but we're gonna take it out to third. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, up. Right here at nine. Good. 10 more seconds and then we're gonna take it back to an eight. Couldn't handle. No one else could ever hold a oh my. Get ready, Get ready. have a seat a and take it down. Four, three, two, one, down. Back eight. We're gonna do one more nine here. But holding that eight, using this as a recovery even though it is still challenging us. Grab a drink right now if you need to, or dry off. Remember your form, feet are flat, push and pull. That entire pedal stroke, you are working. 
We're gonna come back up to third. Here we go. Up. Reach down. Last. Nine to the end. Here we are. Nine. Just under 30 seconds. Again, trying to go right in the 60s. Try not to go below 55 RPMs if you do have a computer. Almost there. Have a seat. Four, three, two, one. Turn it down to a seven now. Oh my. We are, we are warm. We are, we are nearing the end because this is it. This is our last and final push. So everything you have left, I want it right here and right now. Two sprints remain. Two 30 second sprints remain. And you are gonna kick butt right now. You're at a seven. The sprints are gonna be at a six because we're gonna push. Riding right now, 70s, 80s, up to 90s. Building. Five, six. I want you to remember your form. Keep your head up, shoulders down, feet flat. Push and pull. Four, three, two, one, go. Do not just hop off of the bike. We need to cool down and recover and stretch. This is the dessert. Plus we have Ryan Inez singing to us, so we're gonna enjoy that. And I just really wanna tell you that that was awesome. You made that hit workout and you did it. Even if you didn't make every single push, that is okay, that is your goal for next time. Increase by one, increase by two. Do not get discouraged. You showed up and that's what counts. And that's what counts, did I say that right? <laughs> when I get uh, a little tired, the words start jumbling when they come up. <laughs> but let's slow it down. Now we're in the 70s, even in the 60s. We're holding the six. We're gonna take it down to a five here shortly. Again, grab your water if you need. Or dry, I am drying off. I feel like I just jumped in the pool. I feel like I just jumped in the ocean. 
All right, let's find five, and remember, a five, you still have resistance. You are gonna find, if you are new working out with me, you will find that I am a form freak. So that is like my biggest thing. I'm always reminding you of form, especially when you are beginning, because that muscle memory is key. And if you have the right form on the bike, that is gonna allow you to make the most out of these workouts. So that is why I'm constantly form check. But, Oh, breathing, so we have taken it down now to our five. Legs are slowing down now in the 60s. And I also want to invite you to one of the live workouts. So if you have not subscribed yet, if you hit subscribe and you hit the bell, that'll notify you when we go live for our workouts. We always have them on Saturday, but I'm telling you, it is so much fun and the community that comes into the chat and encourages everyone, it's, it's amazing. So I would love it if you would join us for one of those live rides. And again, you can modify that workout as you need. So even if you are brand new, you can just pedal and hang out with us because it's really, it's, it's turned into a big old family. And we would love for you to be a part of it. That was amazing. All right, so now, like I said, you gotta get that stretch in. So you can check out the stretch. Go over to the stretch, get that in. That really will help to help your recovery after this workout because high intensity is super tough and that stretch will help. So I will see you over there. Big hugs to you. I love you.